I always say evening, and I always forget to turn my mic on. It's like the two things I do at the start of a stream. It's almost like a... You expect nothing more. How are you doing, guys? Nice to uh, nice to see you all. It's a busy one tonight already. Quite 55 of you. How's things? Yeah, and we aren't, for the first time in about three months, we are not on Flint Hills. We thought we would um, do a little bit of um, the survival challenge. Um, hope you're all well. Um, one second. We are... Um, let me give a bit of an overview. I know some of you haven't maybe seen this series before. I know a lot of you have, but we have got ourselves in the middle of nowhere. Turn my uh, turn my chainsaw off. In the middle of the nowhere, we have got this little old shed. Uh, we've got some very rickety old machinery, including this thing, which I love. And... Uh, We've got a little silage clamp now. We've cleared some trees here. We've cleared a few trees up here. Um, we started out only with a gator and a wood chipper and a chainsaw, and that was it. We've expanded a little bit. Um, you can catch some of the other episodes. Um, but uh, if we head up here, we've just cleared the area, and we've got uh, two new fields here. And uh, we've planted canola in one in the last episode. And uh, we are going to put soybeans in this one. That was voted for by you guys. So uh, what we're going to do next is, uh, again, I put a question out in the community tab this week. And you guys uh, suggested that we clear some more area and make some more space. So I've got a few things, actually, uh, to do tonight. We've got some uh, good uh, mods that people have suggested. So thanks again, guys. You're always very good at coming up with the cheap mods. Um, but we're going to clear a bit more space. We're going to get some more fields um, made. And then we're going to... I think the silage is almost ready to sell. So we'll sell that. And then we'll look at a few things. that We're thinking about maybe horses. Um, we're going to put some horses uh, on the ground. And we'll probably look at something to bring in a little bit of regular money. So, um, first things first. We are going to... Get this started over here. I'm just going to turn my headphones down. Now this should now, with course play, allow us um, to, he says, confidently, run this field. Now, I need to close that. Get onto the field here. Current field edge. This might not work. Oh, it did. Excellent. So we do course generation, because these aren't fields, remember? These aren't fields that exist. These are fields that I've made, so we have to uh, create them. So it's a little bit of jiggery-pokery with uh, course play, but that doesn't work. That's why too many headland passes, maybe. No. Uh, it's just... That's not going to work either, is it? Costigan, there is no field to select, my friend. That's why we've got to do it this way. Um, but what we'll do, I'll show you a way to fix that, is we just have to drive it. We just have to drive it. So what we do, we're going to record a course. Now, if we run around the edge of the field... I don't see where I'm going. Going wildly off track. It's not the end of the world. Now, if we do this, uh, hopefully this will make it work. We'll soon find out. It's what I did for the other field, so... And we'll pull up to a stop about here. Hit stop. And now if we go to course generation, currently loaded course, generate field course, and voila, there you go. Course done. So now...
we should be able to drive course. We've got soybeans in. First waypoint, that's exactly what we wanted. There we go. So I did field edge path and it uh, it wasn't for some reason there was a too tighter too tight a turn somewhere so it wouldn't let me register it. But it's all good, it's working now. There we go. Gotta love course play. Even in bright life, how are you doing? Hello to everybody. I haven't actually said hello to anybody properly tonight. So many of you. So many of you. Don't forget to uh, hit that like button, guys. Um, so he's going to just run away. We'll let him do his thing now. Uh, and we'll go and get the other tractor. And we're going to shift some... Uh, we are going to go and shift some logs. And start building some other fields. So... No worries, Havoc. We'll hopefully see you later. Enjoy baseball practice. Bright life. Ah, we'll be alright. We'll not save that. Um, we'll save it at the end. So, um, first things... I was going to wonder if we took the plough with us then, but I'm not going to bother, actually. I'm not going to bother. Yeah, well, I had a I had a four thousand series Ford like that on my farm as well. Um, I sold it because it actually was quite a buggy mod, and uh, it also uh, only had something crazy like thirty four horsepower, and we needed more. So this is the one. Costigan, I do use a steering wheel, yes. So this uh, this logging chain has been one of the finds of the series. I think it's absolutely brilliant. So what I'm thinking we might do is um, leave this row of trees here, because it's quite an interesting feature. So we'll start chopping some of these down here. Not that one. We want to leave that. We'll get rid of a few of these. I'm going to keep my fields quite small for a bit of fun. FS19 with a wheel is brilliant. It totally changes the way I play the game. Totally changes the way I play the game. Um, much more enjoyable with a wheel. Um, I believe controller's good. I don't use a controller, uh, but I know a lot of people that do. Certainly keyboard and mouse is quite a chat. Not a challenge. I mean, crack it's just a game at the end of the day. But... Uh, just the ability to steer, you know, um, nice defined steering is much better with a steering wheel. With a keyboard, you're kind of doing that that tapping thing to make sure you get everything uh, aligned. So it's a lot harder, but definitely steering wheel, massive, massive change for me. So there we go, three trees. I think we can pull a lot more than that. So even in fusion, how's it going, my friend? Harold, what map am I on? Um, I, I think it says it in the title. It's Bull's Gap. There we go. Yeah, joysticks are good. Now, a few guys that use joysticks. Um, those login boys, and they like a joystick. They like a dual joystick setup. Only problem with a wheel is. Uh, you end up having a wheel in front of your keyboard and mouse, and I, I switch between the two. So now, while I'm doing this, uh, while while I'm doing this, you, um, I'm on the keyboard, um, but for driving, I'll use the mouse. So let's get rid of these uh, tree stumps. I'm using the uh, lumberjack mod as well, which is uh, very good. I'm concentrating on the job at hand. I'm not looking at. Uh, not looking at the screen too much, so apologies, guys. If I miss your comments, I'll uh, I'll keep trying to. Uh, and there's one. I always leave one. Take care, havoc. Thanks for dropping by, my friend. Yeah, I think it's actually quite difficult to run a wireless Xbox controller on PC. Will. Um. I have got an Xbox Elite controller, but uh, 
I think you need a special dongle for it to work. Okay, there we go. Let's. Uh, I think the space is big enough. No, let's get rid of this tree as well. Well, you guys seem to be enjoying um, that Texas map that I found as well. That's had a lot of interest, a lot of people interested in that. I've got to say, it's a really fun map. Got a few little bugs and glitches in it, but um, show me a map that doesn't. But I do love the... Um, oh, is this going to fall? Or is it just going to do that random thing that they sometimes do? I have to bump into it with a tractor to knock it over. Or we take the, we just take the stump out and see what happens. Oh, we've got a floater. We got a floater. That's what I wanted to do. There you go. We'll fall over now. Or he won't. Okay, fair enough. All right, we'll give him a nudge with the tr with the uh, tractor. The meat element to it, I'm really. Uh, I'm really impressed with the the meat element on the. Okay, good. It's not a glitched tree. I was slightly worried I was going to have a floating tree. But I'm glad it's not. That's good. I think that is... Is that a stump? No. How do you find a cop? Just enjoying Chellington before, my friend. Man, I'm really not reading the cop and contents tonight. Ah, oh, Harold. You'll love the game. It's so good. Right, what do we think? Is this... Ah, uh, it doesn't feel big enough for me yet. I think I want... Sensible, so not too big. I don't want to... I don't want to have so big a fields that... Uh, Watching for stop slime violations. Yeah, I'm out in the sticks now. I'm kind of hoping you uh, let me off with a warning tonight. Uh, Bright Life, where can you download the West Texas map? The link is in the description for the video, my friend. So you just go and grab it from there. Trees are evil. You're not a fan, Marty? I have to admit, I used to despise logging. Just because I wasn't very good at it. But now... Now, now I actually, I'm at peace with it. I'm okay with it. I am okay with it. I've found some tools that help, and it's made it a lot more, a uh, lot more tolerable. Definitely. No pizza, no glory. How are you doing, Maxine Vincent? Do I have a Land Cruiser in real life? I do not. I actually drive a Land Rover Discovery Sport in real life. Which is a very nice car. There's a couple more trees. I kind of forget where I've um, left trees. There we go. Is that two on top of each other? There we go. Right. I usually chop the ends off. That's one of the most annoying things about logging is the end, the tips. So let's strip this one and then we'll have a look. We'll maybe jump. We'll jump up into flight mode, shall we? And see how much... Uh, how big that bit of land is. What do we think? Is that... Let's get rid of this one as well. And then we'll be good. So I have downloaded a few new mods. Um, Bocky, how are you doing? Thack, how's it going, my friend? Welcome, 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 welcome. Oh, missed a bit. So, um, 
Yeah, so we've got a few uh, got a few nice cheap mods to play with tonight. Actually, big shout out to Farmer Cop for his top ten mods video. I grabbed a couple from there which I'd never known about. The C the CSZ pack. Um, that was brilliant. Really like that. Um, with all the fi fittings and fixtures and the uh, and the pipe, the the thing that picks up everything from uh, from the ground. That was a uh, that was brilliant as well, so there we go. One log. Oh, look, there's a there's a stump we missed. There's always one stump we miss. Don't cut the wire of the uh, the milling machine. Thank you, Costigan. Yes, the milling machine looks brilliant as well. It's very helpful on a map like this. Uh, let me just turn that off. But be clever about where I go to pick these logs up. So they're all relatively close to the tractor. I think it's the first time I've used this tractor for uh, logging, but I do love this logging chain. So good sped up the whole process of logging so much. There we go. So we'll get these cleared and then we're going to um, probably get the plough out and get it ploughed relatively quickly. Um, Try to remember which buttons to press. Let's grab this one as well, shall we? This thing, uh, this tractor is unbelievable. Honestly. It's like power galore. Yeah, FDR do some great logging. The helicopter, the FDR logging helicopter. Utterly brilliant. Is that the towing uh, chain in the mod pub? No, Pizza No Glory. No, it's actually... Um, let me... I'll show it you quickly, because it's actually in logging itself. Uh, forestry equipment. If you go along to here, it's called the Taj Fun. Uh, and it's just a logging chain. So it's, and this skid as well, it doesn't actually work with... Well, it might work with this tractor. I can lower it and kind of position things as well. So it's uh, really good from that perspective. Um... Oh, now I've got to put my chain on this one. So you can actually, I mean, in terms of clearing ground, it's a bit of a lifesaver because um, uh, I've gone the wrong way now. Rather than, you know, spending ages chopping up the logs and having to uh, uh, have a truck in the field and all of that stuff, you can just get them all out of the way relatively easily and then uh, chop them up at your own leisure. Oh, George, I'd be interested in that. Let me know where that where you can get that from. I would be very interested in that. Because I'm loving this tractor. It's uh, it's very... Uh, very useful. Let's see if I can uh, reach... That's a bit further away, this one. That's just going to get dragged a little bit behind the others. But uh, ideally, I would like to get all the logs in one go. I, I'm not kind of optimistic I'm going to be able to, but how many more have I got left? Two, three, four. No, I think we'll we'll call it at that. We'll call it at that. Loving the uh, Universal Tractor. It's an absolute brilliant for the price. What was it? About £3,500? It's uh, an incredibly efficient tractor. I mean, look at that. Those logs are going everywhere, but... Brilliant. Thank you, George. That'd be great. Right, let's get this down to here. Let me see if I can show you the, the skid as well. The, um, the plough element. It doesn't work with the little John Deere. It's too... Um, 
lifts the wheels off the ground, but it might might work with this. We'll find out very quickly. So you drag them all here, and you just press um, Shift B. So it's B to link every log up, and then it's Shift B to release them. Simple as that. So good. So good. Now I should, if this rear hitch is uh, any good, I should be able to. Uh, Hiya, Josh. Thank you very much, my friend. Ah, uh, see, it lifts the wheels off the ground a little bit. So some of the tractors, I think some of the more modern tractors, you can actually... Uh... Oh, there we go. Before we lifted the wheels off the ground, we managed to move it a bit. There's probably not enough power in this to really move them very far either, so... Just trying to move them out of the way of the yard a little bit. Evening, Sam. How you doing? Oh, that's not so bad, is it? Right, let's go and get those last four logs, and then we'll plow out the headland of this uh, of this new field, and then we'll get some uh, get some crops in it. This will get some crops in it. So one of the things I'd like to do, uh, if we can tonight, is maybe get enough to get a horse pasture running. That would be quite good. Um, I would like to buy a front loader. I think we can sell our uh, silage as well. Um, if we're doing really well... Oh, you can move these, that's good. If we're doing really well... Um, I have a greenhouse, um, which I'd quite like to buy. Uh, and we can create some onions. The other thing that's potential to buy tonight is a windmill. That'll give us an hourly income, which is quite nice as well. So. Um, we've got a few options available to us. Yes, a couple of horses. Love a couple of horses. Um, I have got global companies on with the horse trainer mod, which I will use because the thought of exercising horses... It's not really my cup of tea, I'm not going to lie to you. Um, so, yeah. I'm happy to fund somebody to do that. I know it's 300 a day, but actually I think we're... Uh, there's another stump I've missed. I always miss a stump. Ah, there you go! Uh, Bob... Bobeeb5 is telling us that actually it's supposed to dig into the ground. That's... So when you're winching, I guess it doesn't move your tractor, doesn't slide your tractor about. It's always people on here. Always people on here who know more than I do. It's great. I've always said this. The FS community is so knowledgeable about the game and farming. So the two combined, it's uh, it's brilliant. Um, so thank you, Babib. Really great to know that. All right, now I'm thinking that this tree's in the way as well. I think we need to move that one, don't we? Just one. Yeah, let's cut this one down as well. Let's cut this one down as well. Stella, it is um, 9.24pm in the UK at the moment. So, uh, yeah. A nice time for a stream. Works well for the UK folk. Works well for the folk in the US. Even the Australians and the Kiwis... Uh, are getting up for breakfast, so they can uh, they can watch it as well. So it's probably one of the most optimal times, I think, for uh, a live stream. Thank you, George. I'm going to check that out after the stream. That's brilliant. Okay, we've got ourselves a nice little... Um, actually, look, I'm spotting another tree now that I want to get rid of. Just on the... Uh, on the field line. Let's uh, Let's shift that as well. And then we can get around the edge nicely. Right. There we go. So yes, definitely we've got a cheap um, horse paddock. Uh, because the in-game original ones are way too expensive. Uh, so we've got a cheap horse paddock, which we can get. There you go. Firm put hold so the tractor won't slide. Ah, oh, thank you, George. I appreciate you watching live. And, uh... Yeah, we've, uh... 
we've got a really we've got a really um global audience it's amazing like how how far and wide you guys come from that watch the channel it's uh it's really nice um okay look he's nearly finished planting that field as well i'm glad i put course play on this Yeah, I'm looking forward to trying the onions. Uh, the um, the greenhouse is twenty five thousand though, so it's it's a fair whack of money. So we might have to uh, sell a few uh, trees to get that. What I don't want to do is spend the whole episode logging, which I, I'm not going to, to be honest, because we've got so many uh, we've got so many different things to do that uh, we're not going to struggle with that. And what I like about this episode, um, Flint Hills is great, and I love, love a Flint Hill series, but uh, um, they're big fields, so you end up doing one thing for, like, two hours or three hours, if you're not careful. Oh, where did that go? Um, whereas what's nice about this is we've only got some small... Uh, we've only got some small... Um, it's too big to lift... We've only got small fields, so we can end up doing quite a lot of different things. Just makes it interesting for you guys. Babibs from Croatia. I love your country, man. Oh, I love your country. Beautiful seas, and it's on my list of places. When uh, COVID's done, I'm going back to Croatia. I'm going to go sailing. See, bull gaming. There you go, South Africa. There we go. So... We'll ditch the Taj fun now for a while. And we'll go and grab the little plow. In fact, before we do that, the John Deere has finished. So we will um, turn course play off for him. That was pretty efficient, wasn't it? So we've got a field of soybeans, a field of canola. We have got the straw me mod in. So what we'll need to do as well is bale that when it's ready. Uh, Kiwi contractor, how you doing? Um, I uh, I'm signed up for Farm Sim Network. I just do not have the time to play it. So, right, let's just leave that there for a little while. What I would quite like to do is um, put some fertilizer on those fields as well. Now let's just check our silage. Ninety-five percent. So, let's grab the plow. There's an extra camera on this tractor as well. Can't believe we're going to have another another field already. We've only been playing for half an hour. Um, we will maybe have to run some logs after this, though. Denmark, oh, I saw... Um some loser from Iowa's up there as well. How you doing, man? So what we'll do here, I'm going to double up. I'm going to record the edge of the field using course play. At the same time, we're going to plow the outline of the field. And then, we can... Uh, lower that. Allow create fields. So we'll create our field edge path here. And then we will leave him to run this. We could have cut in a little bit close to the trees maybe there, but no biggie. This is going to be quite a big field anyway. Now, I do believe uh, Tom Farmer Cop has done an excellent video on testing how often you need to do soil samples and what the yield differences are and things like that. It might be well worth checking that out. There we go. This is going to be quite a nice... Uh, it's quite a nice size field, this actually, isn't it? So it's going to be our biggest field now. So 
we come around here, I want to leave a little bit of a gap between the fields because I want to build out more uh, more roads and stuff if we can. But there we go. There's our there's our field edge. That's good. So I can press stop there. And now if I go to ploughing, we should be able to go to course generation. And there's our currently loaded edge that we've just cut. So if I do, let's say, six headlands. We better do a bit of an overlap there. Um, and we'll start on the up and down rows. Width is good, I think. Generate field course. And there you go. What a beautiful field course that is. Fantastic. And now once it's cut in, it will... Um, it will uh, it'll treat it as a course anyway, so we'll not need to do it again. So we'll go to first waypoint, hit drive course, and he, he's going to plough his way to the first waypoint. That's good. So I'm just going to leave him to it. Hopefully he's not going to make a hash of it. We've got our two fields here. Let's, um, let's chop some of these logs up. And run them down to the uh, run them down to the sawmill. Wow, 125 of you tonight. We're busy. Don't forget to hit the like button, guys. It all helps the channel if you can. Right. This thing. Listen. Listen to how long this takes to start. There we go. This truck has been one of the finds of the series. It's absolutely my favourite thing in the world. Uh, some of you of a certain age might remember the film Jeepers Creepers, which was a relatively bad horror film. Um, but he drives one of these, the baddie. And Jeepers Creepers drives this truck, but I'm hopefully not going to scare anybody with this. See, this actually, this tree stump, it was... Uh, it's a placeable, I think. It ends up on the, uh, keeps appearing back in the, uh, back in, in amongst the trees. But it's too big to lift. I'm not using super strength, so um, I have to cut all my logs to a certain length to be able to carry them. So what I'm going to do now. I'm going to guesstimate how long it is. I you sometimes miss. Uh, that's a bit short, actually. Sometimes I miscalculate it, but most of the time I get it all right. Paulus, good evening, sir. How are you doing? How's the studying going, my friend? You must be uh, you must be ready to come back to do some hardcore farming. Right, this uh, usually do these on a time lapse, so. You don't have to watch the misery of me loading logs. Because I'm not going to lie to you. I'm still not very good at it. There we go. Yeah, I think the... Uh, I think it's an issue with the choke somewhere. It keeps trying to stall itself and then uh, start up again. That is the very one, Stella. That is the very one. See that one, look. It's ever so slightly too long, so I can't pick it up. So I just have to chop the end off and throw those bits and pieces in the chipper. So I'll show you what kind of what I'm thinking I want to buy next. Now we do want the horses, definitely, um, for sure. Hi Marcia, how are you doing? I have been live for just 30 minutes, so you've got another, um, you've got another two and a half hours of me, I'm afraid. Hope you don't mind that. So, what was I going to show you? I was going to show you um, some of the fun stuff that I found. Check this bad boy out. 
£5,900. That will come in rather handy on the farm, I think. Coupled with, if I can find it, and again, thanks to... Uh, Thanks to Farmer Cop for this, if I can find it. Where's it gone? No, can't find it. Oh, stuff it. We'll go through the shop. <laughs> Would have been easier to do it this way, wouldn't it? Uh, skid steer loaders. Here we go. Oh, it's actually got its own buckets. Look at that, 1,500 bucket. I didn't turn on. I didn't turn on the pack. Oh well, uh, it's got some forestry stuff here as well. So, uh, but yeah, we'll take the bucket. Um, that'll help us load things up. CSZ stuff. I thought I downloaded the CSZ stuff, but I clearly haven't. I haven't switched it on as I've gone into the game, which is silly of me. But um, actually, there's a bucket of its own there, so that's not bad. Ooh, too far away. So we'll, let's get these loaded up, and then we'll go shopping. Um, so there's a few things. In fact, I'm going to go back because there's something else I want to show you here as well. I'm probably going to buy. So in the animal pens, we have got uh, this little horse paddock. So it's 11,000 for that horse paddock, um, which is a lot cheaper than some of these crazy ones at 50,000 and 95,000. So we'll use that. Um, the other thing I'm going to pop in is probably... Missy B's manure buy point. So I can use it with the greenhouse when we get that. So I still have to pay for it. And obviously there's a cost attached to that. So we'll need to do that as well. Um, I may put one of these water mills in. And obviously all this costs money. So um, it is Foo Fighters Pens Fusion. You're right. Um, <laughs> yeah. No pizza, no glory. You're not kidding. And I've got about 10% of my mods turned on for this. So, um, have I done a No Man's Land series? Harold, no, I haven't. Um, and the reason I haven't done No Man's Land is because everybody else is doing it. So I thought it'd be a little bit different. And actually, I managed to pick a map um, where the land's so ridiculously expensive that it's going to take me a long time to be able to afford... Um, a long time before I'm able to afford... Uh, any other land so I'm having to make my own as a matter of urgency which is not bad I like the challenge of it um, and actually, I actually have to say this series has become like if I'm not playing it I'm just desperate to play it uh, so I keep on saying luckily I'm putting in the uh, in the community tab and stuff do you want to see another episode and uh, do you want to do a live stream and you guys are voting you're voting right so thank you for that um, because it is it is a whole heap of fun this. So let's uh, let's get these last few bits in. Let's not do a f let's not do a full load now. Let's just let's mix things up a bit because that tractor is going to be finished in a while. And I'll ask you guys. We'll ask live. And we'll have a think about it now while we run this down to the down to the sawmill. What we're going to plant in our third th third third field. It's easy for you to say. Um, we've got canola. We've got soybeans. What next? What other crop we're going to plant? Uh, you guys decide. Somebody's going to have to keep tally on it and see which one. Uh. Right. Sheep. Yeah, a few people have said sheep. Oats. Oats is good if I'm going to put horses in, actually. That's not a bad call. Barley. Wheat. Wheat. Oats for the horses, yeah. I think I think ho oats is not a bad call if we're going to get horses, yeah. Even in Egan, even in Mike Hansen, how are we doing, guys? I think we're all on the same page here. Oats for the horses. Good call. Um, I would like to buy that little um, that little massive Ferguson digger though, and a trailer. I don't have a I don't have a good trailer. That's probably the two things that we need. Um, so we could go and sell that silage as quickly as we can. 
Oats, oats, oats. It seems like oats is a clear winner here. The problem with grass at the moment, I've nowhere to put it because my silage uh, my silage clamp is full. Oh! Uh, mind the... Uh, right, who's got the crash counter on? This is what happens when I... Uh, Farmer cop, take care, my friend. Now I'm going to have to do a 96-point turn to get out of here, aren't I? So, uh, let me just move it off the bridge. There you go. Don't judge me. Uh, need a loader for the John Deere. The only problem with that 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 John Deere is the loader that comes with it is terrible. So I don't want to put a loader on the the front loader is uh, it doesn't give you the hitches for it. It gives you an actual front loader, and uh, yeah, it's terrible. I've used it on other maps. So what I will do is buy that little um, I'll be, buy that little massy thing. I think I did. I fully farmer copped it. That's why he left. I out farmer copped farmer cop by clattering the bridge. Mike, no, I hadn't thought about doing that, but that's uh, that's not a that is not a silly idea. I like that. Let me go. Um. There we go. 3,000. Not bad. Not bad. I think we might have to do some more. There we go. The Lizard Bale Claw. I might... Um, I've got some fertiliser to spread as well on those uh, fields. We'll get them up to 100% so we can get our yield sorted. So we'll do that. Um, that was a small load, actually. I thought there was going to be more than that in that load. Um, so what I might do is... Not straight away, but we'll maybe run another load down in a little while. Max 4 meter, how are you doing? Mad Marty Cantrell? Yep, Farmer Cop always drops in and just says a quick hello, even if he can't stay for long. It's always nice to see him. And the rest of his mob... The rest of his motley crew. Quiet hit, man. Jason. So I am running um, hard financial difficulty on this. So things like silage do lose a lot of their cost. Um, they really reduce in cost. So it doesn't make it as lucrative as it used to. So we've got to just be a little bit clever about what we do uh, with things. So, let's uh, just try to toy with what to do now. I, I might get the fertilizer spreader on the, uh, the gator in the field. Will I be picking up the horses of having them delivered? I probably think, much as it loathes me to uh, pay for delivery costs, it's cheaper than I can't afford a... Uh, a trailer to carry them in and actually it's false economy because I'd have to buy it and then it's just going to sit around because I ain't going to move those horses around a lot so um, so I might have to uh, I might have to just leave that and get them delivered and just accept the fact that it's going to cost me a little bit um, right let's go and spread some fertilizer on these fields he watches the replays later. <laughs> he knows I'm kidding. Right. This is tiny. How's that? Uh, I don't know what I might do here. Horse play with a gator. Has anybody done that before? Surely that's got to be a first, hasn't it? Oh, that's why. Current field edge path. See, this is what happened last week. See this? 
it loads up the other course as well. So what I need to do, I'm going to have to record this field edge again. Although I think I might have it as a field edge. I might have it as a field edge. What I need to do is turn on this. I do. It's like I plan to have to do it again. Right. Let's uh, course generation. Current loaded course. Headland around. Let's do it six times. Let's do a nice chunky overlap so we don't miss anything. I think we're good to go. I don't know why I pressed that again. That looks good. I'll turn all those horrible lines off. First waypoint. Let's go. Done to do redo a rear field edge. Jake Sears, this is uh, Bull's Gap. Tells you in the uh, tells you in the title actually, in the description. Great little map. Great little map by Rich Acres Modding. So if you like the map, go and see him on Facebook. Give him a like and give him a follow because he's a good guy. There we go. Thank you, Will. Right. Um, while he's doing that, we'll see how uh, how this guy up here is doing. Oh, he's making pretty good progress, isn't he? He's making pretty good progress. So we'll, we'll fertilise both these fields. That's going to be them both at 100%. So they're running nicely. We will now... Let's do another load of logs, I think. That's let's get the let's get the money up. I wonder if we could get a trailer and a uh I wonder if we can get a trailer and the um the digger at the same time. The digger. Skid steer. Alright. When they're all this close together. Sometimes hard to hit them. There. There we go. Right. Let's try and load these neatly, shall we? See if we can get a, like a proper big load. I think our record's about 6,700. So let's... We're going to go for the the most expensive load yet with our next load. That's what we'll, that's what we'll shoot for. See, that one's slightly too long. There you go, just that little trim is all it needed. Yeah, we're going to go for the most expensive load we can. So we're going to take all the fat bits of log from one end. So we're going to take all the, the chunky ends of the tree from here. There is an optimal length as well. I'm losing a bit of cash by not having them super the right length, but they're pretty good, to be honest. I am not reading the chat. Sorry, guys. Can I use the uh, tray? Oh, it's a good job you're here, man. Of course I can. That's an absolutely common sense thing to do, isn't it? Why do I not think straight sometimes? What's wrong with me? What is wrong with me? I can just drive on and pick it up. What an absolute goon I am. Right. You're a genius. Cut a template. I don't know, I don't know what the optimal is, Mike. Right, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? That looks pretty good. So let's uh, let's use that from now on. Only problem is I can't move the uh, I can't move the other logs out of the way. Right, here we go. Kobe, yes. There we go. 
Oh look, I'm picking up that entire tree there. A milling machine. We could buy the milling machine actually. Because that's a bit more multi-purpose, isn't it? Um, and it's only, what is it, 5,000? I, I would still need to use the milling machine but load it into the um, forage wagon. I might try it without the milling machine just to see if it works. Because I'd quite like to save that £5,000 for something else if I could. That's halfway to uh that's halfway to um the horse corral. So I keep wanting to move that log now. There we go. So we'll lie it on here. As per Mike's suggestion, and we will go one three. Mike, you're a genius. Great suggestion. Michael Hunt, how's it going, my friend? What's the best thousand? The loading wagon will get stuck in the monkey. Use a milling machine. Best thousand, five thousand you'll ever spend. Hey, I'm not denying that for one second. It does look good, um, and we, I'm sure we can use it for other stuff as well. Right, we're going to do a little bit of a guesstimate on this. This top log actually is uh, a pain. As I can't cut it. It needs to fall down before I can chop it. Anti Mega, how are you doing? Can you use the log winch to push the silage out a bit to reduce the chance of grass getting. I was thinking actually maybe a there's a cheap snow plow or something I could buy. Or I could buy one of the, um, the actual loader. The what do you what do you call it? A actual. I never know what they're called. Push it, leveler, leveler. Um, that's what I meant to call it. Oh, that's real struggle. Real struggle with my words tonight. What's wrong with me? I had that busy a day. Luis Leon from Mexico. Welcome, sir. Like I said, what did I say before about a really international audience? Crikey, we've got everybody here. Nice to have you here, guys. Hope you're having a uh, a good day so far. Right, is it going to let me cut it now? It is. Let's go about there. Slightly longer than... Ah! I was trying to be smart. Oh, that's a really big tree, that. Right. No. Gotta have an Aussie in here. There's always an Aussie. Trust me, for somebody who comes from Scotland, there's always an Aussie within about 10 metres of you. It's the law. wonder if we can put that much weight in the truck. We shall see. Right. Now these are the longer logs. Let's uh I don't mind writing off those tips of those trees because they become so annoying when you load them up that uh, you don't really want them on the lorry because they just throw things off. Well, we're fairly getting through this this um backlog of wood, which is great. I mean, this is a great source of money. I'm glad I'm not putting this all through the chipper. Who remembers the first episode when I was going to put everything through the chipper? Because the uh, the map tour that I'd done not uh, not two weeks earlier, uh, I'd forgotten that there actually was a sawmill on the map. That was a uh, just another another classic farm sim guy forgetful moment. So. Uh, I'd love to get the uh, greenhouse for onions. I'm not sure if we'll be able to fund that tonight. It depends how much uh, how much money we can make from 
logging and from hopefully our silage. I don't think our silage is going to get us that much money. Maybe a few thousand, but nothing, nothing crazy, I don't think. Because there isn't that much of it. We just don't have the volumes to make it uh, a really lucrative thing. So, Jake's ears. Take care, my friend. Thanks for dropping by. go guys if you're interested in starting your own channels um, uh, definitely try and join our discord there's a load of uh, new guys who've just started out their channels uh, fusion sim being one of them the grizzly games being one of them um, who are having great fun starting out their new channels and starting to starting to get a few followers and starting to get a load of interest in their channel so um definitely if you're interested before you start jump on come and ask us all for kind of info how we started i mean crikey i forget sometimes my channels was just over six months old but i've only really become successful until uh, in the last three months so um i'm still learning as well but it's so uh, we've got a great little community going uh, and there's a lot of uh, sharing of information and knowledge and, and helping each other out. And uh, we're up at about, I think, 400, 400 people in the Discord now. Something like that. So, um, so for sure, definitely. Um, and the other guys as well. You know, uh, Kedrick Farms is a brilliant source of, uh, of information. Big friend of the channel. Farmer Cop as well does some awesome stuff. Um, there's a lovely little community. There's a lovely little bunch of people who are doing the kind of... I would say the new breed of farming sim guys who are uh, just doing it for fun and having a laugh. So feel free to jump on and uh, come say hi. We're a super, super friendly bunch. Uh, you can share your channels. You can ask for advice. I sometimes do a little um, creative uh, tutorial um, thing. Um, which I haven't done for a while, actually. I am due to do another one. Um, where you can ask questions and get advice. And, you know, we built thumbnails last time. In fact, we did a thumbnail for Grizzly last time. I think that was actually the turning point for his channel. <laughs> Maybe not. Actually, it's his quality content. I shouldn't, I shouldn't do him a disservice. Um, okay. I'm just going to load this up as much as I can. Can I ask why... Matthew Bilal, can I ask why the game does such a bad job of representing American farming experience? I love the game, but unless you use mods, you can't get the American experience. It makes me sad. To be honest, uh, Matthew, mods make this game. 100%. Uh, as, a, as a somebody from the UK... I don't think the game is particularly great for UK uh, either. Uh, it's very much... I mean, at the end of the day, the guys who make the make the game are, are German. So it's a very, it has a very European feel, the base game. Very European. I wouldn't say it's... You can't even really compare it to UK farming. So, um, you know, all of the mods are what make the game fun. And actually, um, things like four times maps and getting the size, you know... Maybe US guys don't do things by halves, so um, it's the modders that are pushing the limits of what the game's capable of. Um, so I definitely think uh, you're right. If you just use base game, it's a bit uh, it's a bit of a vanilla experience if you're an American, unless you're into European farming as well, which some people are. Um, it's just like me as a European guy, I like the American side of stuff. So. Um, Definitely. Um, Jed Clampett. The Beverly Hillbillies. So yeah, no, I, I, I wholeheartedly agree, Matthew. Um, uh, mods, mods are where it's at for this whole game. I, I think it's fair to say there's probably a load of us here who wouldn't um, still be playing Farm Sim if it was just the vanilla game. 
because it, it it loses its impetus you know when you're getting when you we get what 20 30 new mods every couple of days every couple of days there are thousands and thousands and thousands of new mods new maps i mean the whole thing it's like a new game week on week yeah the base game's still there but uh, it just is it's a brilliant experience because of the modders and we can't forget that and that's why we've got to be nice to them that's why we've got to be nice to them because uh, they're funding, uh, they're fueling our uh, enjoyment of the game. No criticism of giants, though, either. You know, giants have built the base game that allow people the option to uh, to mod for it. There's a load of games who would be like, nope, send them all to us and we'll sell them. You know, the fact that everything's free is brilliant. Um, so, yeah, we should. Uh, we should count our lucky stars, I think. That we've got what we've got. And that we're all here enjoying it. Oh, it's getting a bit rickety. Right, I think we'll call it there, shall we? This has to be our biggest load. I've got... That is never going to make it. Let's see if we can fit it on this side. Yeah, that's better. Right, what can I just... Attach that. One more there. Even my truck turned off, I've been out of it so long. It's a bit annoying on console because there's no follow me and most of the other mods aren't in it. So that, is a pro that isn't a giant's problem or a modder's problem. That is a... I keep saying this. This is a, this is a Sony and a Microsoft problem. Um, you can't you can't script so script mods anything that so anything like horseplay, follow me, uh, auto drive, all of those things you can't put on a PC. Um, sorry, you can't put on a console. Um, Sony have locked down their uh, uh, have locked down their system, so they won't allow access to be able to modify the game in that way. So that's why um, that's why you can't uh, get a lot of the mods on on PC. And to be honest, developing for um, developing mods for for console is a lot more difficult. You can't have the detail, you can't have the depth of quality of the mods that you can for PC because they're just not as powerful. So um a lot of modders don't want to build two versions of the of the um of the mod. You know, it's double the work. Um so Right. Let's go. Breaks. Oh. Thank you very much, Fusion. I, I I I kind of feel like a fraud sometimes because my actual day job is graphic design and video and film editing. So kind of know how to do it. This is just all I do is get to put boring corporate films together, though. So uh, um, this is my escape and actually editing stuff that I enjoy editing. So true, you. How are you doing? There you go. Quiet Hitman, speaking from experience there, had to rebrand the palettes three times before they passed. Just as Lizard. So yeah, it's um it's a difficult one. It's a difficult one. Right, let's uh let's see what we've got on this truck, guys. Cha Ching 7641. I don't know if that's my most expensive. I think that might just have sn I think seven thousand four. Um, in my opinion, what's the best mod to greatly improve the graphical quality of FS19? You can get shaders that play around with the colours and the brightness and the contrast, Matthew. But actually, the best thing you can do is... Um, now, let's assume you've got the best of the best PC. 
put, put all of your settings up to max in your graphical settings. And then the last thing you need to do is set your um, uh, scaling, your game scaling. I run mine at 140%, and that's that's the biggest thing I've noticed in terms of quality detail. Now, you can go into some of the XML files and adjust the draw distance as well. So and you won't see this because it's, it's um, encoded down to to work for the stream but uh, um, if you you can change the view distance through the XML and things like that I made enough of that trip to get better brakes for my truck <laughs> yeah this thing uh, it just kind of doesn't go very far when it's got a full load on it it just kind of now see I'm reading the comments and I'm crashing at the trees so Matthew yeah go into your set before you've launched a game Go into your settings and set your um, your game scaling to 120 or 140 percent. That's the best thing. Even in JSW, how are you doing, Chris Fowler? How's it going, my friend? Hope you're well. 92 likes, guys. We're flying. Doing good. Like it. Right. Oh, the the Universal, the 650's finished ploughing that new big field. So what we'll do is we will go and take we'll take the deer up there. We'll take the deer up there. We'll put some more seed in it. And we'll plant our oats. Riz, take it easy, my friend. Congratulations again on 100 subs. Well deserved. 50 subs in two weeks, man. That's uh, that's properly good growth. Oh, look, I need fuel in this tractor as well. And I have some fuel. And the gate is finished as well. Look, man, we're flying tonight. Right, I'm putting fuel in this now. Look at... Right, everything's full. Let's go and plant. Lethal farming. How's it going, my friend? Farm sim. Farming sim. How are you doing? Is Straw me a mod on console? And if so, which category, please? I again, I'm not sure. You guys might be able to help me out here. Um, I'm not sure it is. I think again, it's uh, it needs to get it kind of messes with the base code of the game a little bit, so you might not be able to do it. Right, this has done a great job. He's missed a few bits, but that's not his fault. That's um, it's classic course play on corners. So let's just tidy those bits up because uh, that is not a direct drill cedar, believe it or not. All the best, Fusion. Thanks, man. Take it easy. I'll see you soon. Fusion will just be going back to the multiplayer server. I know him. I'm um, good, Farming Sim. How are you? How's the map going? Farming Sim's building a map. If you've uh, not been to his channel, he runs a few live streams every now and again. How do I claim an account in Discord? Uh, the link is in the description, Harold. If you just click on the link, it will invite you. And if you haven't got an account, you can set one up. Um, it just needs an email address to set you up. This is another. This is a great little field. Look at this. It's a good size field. Pleased with that. I'm making some serious progress. My OCD won't let me leave that one little bit of green there. Now, I could have cut this grass, but I didn't really see the benefit in it. Um, because we didn't have anywhere to put it, and the, the cost of grass is so low that I uh, 
didn't really warrant it. So let me just pop this around here. It's like a, a tractor waltz. All right, you can stay there for a sec. Let's get you set up and planting. Now we should be able to hopefully detect a decent field edge on this. Uh, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? And so then we want to do course generation. Currently loaded course. We'll go around five times. We'll start in the up and down rows. We'll do a decent overlap on the corners. I'm sure we'll have to come up. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting. That is interesting. Field 19. Currently loaded course. It's not the headland passes back a little bit. Nope, so what we're going to have to do here... Um, unless I give it a... Let me do this and see if it works. 24. Course generation. Field 24, around five times. Yes, it worked. So we added that course edge. And it's set it up. So... That looks good. First waypoint, drive course. You lost your helper icons. I've installed the game, started over, did not fix the problem. Any suggestions? Mm, that's an interesting one, Joe. I've not heard of that one before. When I got precision farming, I lost my helper. And Joe, just if you... Uh, just then uninstall precision farming does oh marty genius <laughs> well done my friend good spot good spot good spot has he even started yet oh he's done one little tiny bit right gold star for marty jeez what are we putting in our oats Right, let's go back to the first waypoint, shall we? I'll just replant over the top of it. Nice one, Marty. You've just saved the whole farm. That's it. You've you've just yeah. Right, we missed the edge of this with the. Uh, fertilizer in the gator so what we'll do we'll do this edge and then we will go and set this up on the next field as well it's pretty efficient on the fertilizer that as well isn't it so oh look there's even more bits of tree there honestly i'm going to be finding tree branches for forever so that's these fully um Fully fertilised, hundred percent. Both of these fields will be when uh, when we're done. So, yeah, well done, Marty. Evening, lol. How are we doing? Yeah, horses horses ain't gonna eat soybeans, are they? Now what would have happened if I'd not been reading the chat? FS Landscaping, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. From Bosnia, welcome Emin. Thank you, FS Landscaping. I appreciate that very, very much. I hope you enjoy the content. Right. Let's see if we can. Right, let's add this now. So this would be field 25, would it? Got to keep on adding numbers on, don't we? Right. Let's add that. Let's do course generation... 
around five times clockwise headland passes first let's do up and down rows first generate field gossy try and work out why that sometimes works and sometimes it doesn't that's because there we go there we go that's what we wanted it's not something I do very often is uh, create field courses so right turn my engine off now right if this um If this is finished, I'm going to first and foremost, I'm going to, we're going to try the loading wagon. Got to get good at creating courses on no man's land. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's an art form on a map that hasn't got actual defined fields in it. So uh, I was actually thinking, um, today actually and while you're all here um i was thinking about running a competition on the channel by taking either flat map probably flat map because it's completely open expanse of green space uh and doing a little um map building competition with you guys if you're interested i don't know what we'll do for a prize yet but uh oh 99 it was so close Um, but yeah, you basically you can put anything on your map that you want, and uh, and then you can uh, decide what you want to do. With it. I'm actually going to get some more logs while those while both of those fields are being planted. We'll go and clear another little area. So you can add placeables, you can add uh, mods to it, as long as you when you supply the map for me to have a look around, uh, you include all of that stuff in it. Um, we should be able to do it. So I'll have a think a bit more about it, about how we could do it. Um, but we'll, we'll make sure there's a pretty good prize for it as well. But it could be quite quite good fun. Uh, Farmer Klein, was it Farmer Klein that did it? Um, with No Man's Land? And it seemed like quite a, I think Dairy Deer, if he's on here. Um, entered it. Nine pound for a bit of wood. Jeez, it's not much, is it? Fourteen pounds. That's what I wanted. No, Robert, it's uh, it's this is my point. I don't want it to be. It's not a map maker's thing. It's uh, it's a basically you load the base map in, and you can use the contouring tools, and you can download any mods you want to place on it and uh, do it that way. Farm sim gamer, how you doing, sir? Sorry, I'll let you be doing a video. Oh, that's uh, that's pretty standard for most of us, to be honest, mate. I think. Pretty standard. I'm always finishing a video. Like blood, sweat and tears. Up till two and three in the morning and silly things like that. Oh, it's not... Uh, he's not spread in the middle. That's interesting. I'm going to have to cut this tree down at some point so I can get... Uh, in fact, I'll do it in a minute. So we can get to... Uh, so we can create a path. Um create another field here. We are making massive progress. Ah, oh, thanks, Costigan. You know what? I have a blast doing them, so We were talking about one of the other streams a few days ago. Uh, I think probably, you know, it's about... Oh, farm, farm Sim Game is here as well, so he'll be able to vouch this. Probably in the region of four to five hours per video. 
to get it done. What's that, Bobby? I wonder why you can't just record yourself doing your whole field and the helper just repeat that process and call that recorded play or something instead of course play. Yeah, I see what you mean. On console, yeah. That's not a bad idea, Kiwi. Quite like the idea of that. I do quite like the idea of that. So you can buy as much kit and equipment as you want. It's, what's the end game? What's the target, though? Do you? Is it a race? Is it the first one to make a million or make two million? So you start with a million. You've got to make two million. There's got to be some. Uh, got to be some sort of target, hasn't it, with stuff like that? At least a day. Oh, crikey. That's impressive farm sim. Take care, Stella. Thanks for dropping by. 10 million. Yeah, make it a real challenge. Right. Um, where else? I've lost my bearings completely here. Let's get rid of this one as well, shall we? There we go. Uh, right, that's collapsed onto that one now, so it's going to make them harder to pull away from each other. Let's get rid of that as tree stump as well. And we've got rid of a few trees here, actually. It doesn't take long to clear these spaces now. This, uh, this area where there's a few... The density of the trees is less. When I started off, you just kind of cut a load of trees down and you got a tiny little space. But now, where there's less trees spread out, it's uh, it's a lot easier. Um, can we get rid of this one too? Ah, oh, do you not? That's interesting. That's interesting, farm sim. Um... Yeah, I do mine. I do mine all together, which has its issues as well. There we go. This we'll get rid of this one. Then it feels like there's a natural break in the in the tree line that makes it a decent shape field. I think. Soon find out. When do I think my last vid will be? I've, I don't know, I've no plans to stop yet, Jake. I'm going to keep going until uh, either you lot get bored and go off somewhere else. Or uh, Farming Sim 21 comes out. And then we'll all move over to there, won't we? Now, uh, Bobby... Um, I am thinking about it's a, something I've been thinking about for a while now is uh, getting uh, we have a we have a multiplayer server for PC already um, but maybe setting up a console because we do have a lot of people who are on console who follow the channel so it would be nice to give them a multiplayer map as well so uh, uh, my next video Jake is tomorrow night it's already filmed, edited, uploaded, and ready to go. So, um, yeah, it's a little bit of a one-off special tomorrow night. Just doing, trying something a little bit different. I think it will be Farm Sim Twenty. I actually don't think they're going to give it a name. I think it'll just be Farming Simulator, uh, and they will incrementally upgrade it. So rather than doing like a a release every couple of years they'll do uh, do something a bit more like the f the f I'm gonna say it the Fortnite model where you um, where you have a you have a core game but you uh, you just keep updating it all the time
Yeah, farm sim, if you go back to my uh, original, my first vids, you can hear I have the most clicky gaming keyboard. And uh, did I, did that connect? Or have I just dropped those two? Now I'm confused. There we go. But this logging chain is absolutely one of my favourite things that I've discovered as part of this series. So it's like so real as well. I mean the the animations and all that stuff is so good on it. There we go. So we're gonna have chat we're, we're gonna end up with another field at this rate. Is there a is there a stump in here? Is the actual stump for that tree in here, or did we get it before? Oh well, we'll sure we'll find it with a plow. Should be able to take all of these down in one go. I haven't used the auto winch yet, and I. Because of, I think probably because of the way I'm doing it, it uh, it's not that important. But I would like to try it. Or oh, Dagawin's noise of his when he releases his wheel and it goes, <laughs> yeah. Almost feel like uh, it needs to. It's probably wearing out the amount of time he's used it. Go. Right, are we gonna we're gonna manage to get all these in one load? That would be good, wouldn't it, if we could? Just one trip. Not bad for a little horsepower tractor. I'm just gonna grab that there. Right, what's left? I've got two. I think it's only two left. Oh, there's a tree in the middle of the field there, which I probably quite like to get rid of as well. Though. I like the sound of a steering wheel too. Bullseye, so do I. It's almost like, uh, you know, you're on Dagwin's channel if he's, uh, if you can hear the, the buzz of his, uh, the buzz of his steering wheel. You know, you're in the right place. Right now, I'm gonna. Oh, what do I do here, guys? Do I remove more trees, or is this a decent enough? I think I need to remove a couple more trees. Let's open this up a little bit. I'm asking a lot of this, uh... Oh, my, uh, I thought my computer was going to hang then. Oh, I'm slightly worried that I've got stuck then. Oh, I've got a glitchy tree, I think. I thought it was a bug tree, I was panicking then. Don't want my game to crash. Are any of the content creators using the side? Do you mean my sim dashboard stuff, Costigan? Um, I know a lot of people are using I know um, Clutch. Clutch did a few uh, videos on them, actually. Going on here, this is a bit buggy. Let's get rid of these and then look at that. It's uh, not letting me move. I can't move. There we go. Maybe the branches of the tree or something. Let's get rid of it and then. One. Two. Right. Yeah, they're the last two that wanted. Evening, Dylan. How's it going? Oh, the Logitech side panel. I use it. Although I have kind of um, 
It's become a little bit more redundant now since uh, I created the SIM dashboard panels. But I still definitely use it for... Um, definitely use it for a front loader. Yeah, thank you frogs. I do think, you know, we, I don't want massive fields, but I do think those two, certainly those two trees were uh, kind of stopping it from being a nice wide uh, space. Right, this is going to be interesting. I think I've I think I've got too much now. I'm really pushing the limit of what this tractor can do. But it just keeps on grinning and giving me more spin that trunk round shall we and the gate is finished in the other field as well I'm intrigued by that uh, oh look there's one I missed I'm intrigued by that square spot there I wonder why I wonder why he's not uh, oh let's pick him up if he's going to spin around that way we'll pick him up Whew, this is a big ask Oh, there you go, George. That one log was just one too many for it. Let's see if we can keep the wheels on the ground. It's just enough time for him to get home. No, it's one log too many. What a shame. What a shame. Can I pull away slowly without lifting the front end up? No, oh, such a shame. That was going to be like the mother load of all. Isn't it? Right, I'm going to go over my seeded field now. Right, once we've got momentum up, that's fine. It's just pulling away. There's too much weight when we pull away, so we'll just have to leave him there. Unless now, what do you think? If we're going in a straight line? Shall we try it again? I will not be defeated. I, no, look! Problem solved. Just needed to be pointing downhill. Jake, what do I play on? I play on... Um, I play on PC. If, if you're talking to me, I play on PC, my friend. Oh, hit the trees there. It's all sliding down the hill sideways slightly. Just needs to just needs to grip and then we're fine. There you go. And we'll just wheelie back to uh We'll just wheelie back. Let the, let the trunks batter off everything on the way past. Can't believe we've got that entire load back here though. How about that? Look at that, this thing is a machine. It's an absolute beast. Right. Let's drop him there again. And let's... Let's go and get the plough again. Let's make another field. Jeez, we're flying tonight. And then, I think, when he's running that... Hmm, actually. There we go. Why wouldn't he let him uncover the middle bit? Oh well. We'll, uh, let's just try this. There's a, there's a horrible, um, graphical glitch on this where the PTO just drags along the floor. But it doesn't stop it from working, so... Let's see what happens if we do this. Let's lower it down.
Possibly frogs, possibly it does need manual attach. I don't have that mod installed, so I would... I, I expect it's probably a... It's probably a bug with the, uh, the graphics. But, um... I can live with it. Now, it's interesting that it's not letting me uncover that middle bit of the... That middle bit of the silage pit. I wonder if that's a bug as well. But we've got a full load here, so... Let's go and see what we're going to make for this. I can't believe the progress we're making. This is brilliant. I actually can't believe uh, the time as well. Time is flying. An hour and 42 minutes we've been, we've been online. Felt like about 15 minutes. Right. Braxton, Scooter Tips and Tricks, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Should pull up with the truck. Yeah, the truck's pretty invincible as well, isn't it? Jake says, what's that you carrying the logs called? It's called the Taj Fun. It's a logging, uh, logging chain. It's uh, You can find it in the mod hub. It's absolutely brilliant. Under um, forestry equipment. Ah, okay. Thanks, simulation. The simulation, that is uh, good knowledge, my friend. Good knowledge. Well, we've got enough money for the Massey, so we will do that. And we're going to need that for uh, uh, when we've got the horses and when we've got the, um, the manure cell point for the greenhouses. So it is going to come in handy. So, Anthony Ritchie, how you doing, my friend? Welcome to the stream. And what's nice is the um, the sell point for bales is just here. Now we've got a hope. Now I do believe, I think this is where I sell my silage. We'll just do a double check, but I think this is right. Yep, there we go. And the price is 167. So. We'll quickly uh, flog this. Like I said, I'm not sure it's going to be masses, but it'll uh, certainly be enough to warrant uh, the time we spent on it, because it's pretty easy to do, just cut and cover. Right, what do we reckon? 2,500 that, that was worth doing, wasn't it? Right, okay, at that juncture, I think we'll take uh, the simulation's uh, advice and we will go and get the uh, the little Massey. Evening, Sean, how's it going, my friend? Uh, we'll, go and, we'll go and rescue the gator as well. And I think we'll set this to go in that new field. We'll, we'll do the outline and then we'll leave them to plough. While we go and get the uh, while we go and get the loader, and we only at the moment we only need him to unload the to uncover the silage pit, and then he can uh, can get loaded into this. But then we'll uh, he'll definitely come in handy later on. So fourteen thousand that is the most we think we've ever had, money wise. I'm glad to hear it, Sean. Glad to hear it. Bullseye, sorry, I missed your chat there. Um, do you think it's worth to move to Europe if you're wondering what country Germany, as an American? Uh, if you've got an opportunity, man, and, and I don't know, I'm, I'm a big, I'm a big believer in you know uh, visiting anywhere you can in the world and getting that experience. So yeah, go for it, man. I would say yes. Nathan, how's it going, my friend? Frogs, do you have any loans out? Or no, I'm not allowed to take loans in this series. So uh, I have to make all the money I can. I can't take out loans. That's 
that would be deemed as uh, cheating for the context of this game. Right. Let's go and get you ploughing, shall we? In fact, we're not going to use you because you might come in handy for uh, that second load of silage. What we will use you for... Yeah, the rules I kind of made myself at the start was I, I, I started with a gator and a chainsaw, and that was it. Now I can't... I'm not allowed to sell the gator. That's the only piece of equipment I'm not allowed to sell. So other stuff I can sell as and when I... Uh, as and when I want to upgrade it. But the gate is mine. And you know it's mine, because look, it's got my logo on it. <laughs> but, uh, yes, I'm not allowed to... Um, I'm not allowed to ever sell this. I could upgrade it now. Yeah, that's interesting, that bit's not working. Is it 100%? Oh, it's 100% fertilised, that's why. The random square. Um... Right, we don't need him back here yet. Well, actually, we do because he can he can fertilise this field. Yeah, pretty much frogs. That was that was it. I inherited a. If you go back to the first episode, I had uh, I had an eccentric uncle that left me basically a shed and some uh, and some land. How you doing, Ozzy? Uh, my day's been really good, actually, man. Gator needs repair. Everything needs repairing, Chris. Everything needs repairing. Will Sizemore, should I buy this game? Um, that's a big yes from me, Will. Oh, look at that. 1% of the oats left as well. How about that? Couldn't have planned that better if we'd tried. I have not tried the new case magnum yet, uh, Sean. No, I must. I must give it a go. Right, let's refill. There we go. Seed all fill again. Um, I'm just going to pop this over here though, because we're going to put the plow on this little John Deere. How much land do I have? I have all this. All the bits that are covered in uh, trees at the moment. But we've managed to add two new fields to it tonight, which is great, and they're a pretty decent size. We've sold a couple of decent loads of uh, of wood. Oh man, this reverses so slowly. Right. So we'll get this ploughing in the new field. We'll set the we'll set the course edge or the field edge. Um. So we've only got. In fact, we're up to date with our sowing, Aussie. We've sowed these two, and our new field at the top there. We've just done that as well. So that's sowed. That's going to be fertilised now. So we're going to we're going to open up this new field here. And. Uh, Let's give it enough space so we can drive around the edges, I think. Yeah, that's quite nice. Uh, do I recommend Epidemic Sound? Uh, Aussie, yes, it's great. It's much better than... Um, uh, do you know what? It just gives you peace of mind that you're not going to get fleeced for... Uh, oh, I don't want to do that. I wanted to uh, record the field edge because it's going to be a new field. Uh, so get rid of my old one, start course recording, there we go. So we'll record the field edge here. So like I said, we'll give ourselves enough gap to go around it. Oh, I'm glad to hear it, Jonathan. Yeah, the new uh, new consoles are very cool. Very cool. Right, 
let's uh, see if we can get to the edge of this field. I like it, Kiwi. I'm liking your thinking. Um, Sean, uh, probably try sites like YesMods, FS19.net. Um, that's where that's where most of the most of the mods you'll find will be. And just uh, do a search for something like a King Auger or something like that. So there we go. There's our field edge course. So if I stop that now, and we let me just roll forward ever so slightly. Now if we go to here, force generation. I want to save that actually. That'll be field 26, won't it? Edge. And then close that. Course generation. Currently loaded course. Have I deleted that? No, I need to load it in again. Field 26, edge. Course generation. Currently loaded course. Generate field. There we go. I worked. Drive. Don't cause the first way, can we? Oh, he's going to cut into that. Don't cut into that. That's not what I wanted you to do. Ruined my nice path now. Right, okay, try again. So yes, Harold, um, I will talk about that. Um, the way the land is here, when you get this element, it also gives you this field up here. So I've committed that I know that's there, and I know I own it, but I ain't going to do any work on it, because that's the, the aim of the survival series is that we... Uh, we start from scratch, so um, although I know it's there, like I said, it's not um, it's not going to be used in this series. Um, first waypoint, drive course. Right, why is he going down there? What are you doing? You're just having a, a little moment to yourself, aren't you? I need to get ready to stop if he's going to try and... I was thought he was going to plow that field up, but he's not. Okay. Josh, Ryan, how are you doing? Hope things are well. I can't remember how I set this up, but I think that's running okay now. I'm comfortable letting him go and just do his thing. We'll do the same up here as well. We'll get the... Right, how much fertiliser on this? Okay, he's zero fertilisation on this one. So what we'll do for him is... Course generation... Oh, let's get rid of the old course. Uh, course generation... Is going to let me do it? Nope, that's not what we wanted. Right, so that is going around there, yep. Course generation. Currently loaded course is what we want, isn't it? Around five times. Nope. So what is this? Right. It would have been like doing Flint Hills with all this small equipment. You're right, it would have been. Um, what am I doing here? Let's record a... Let's 
record a field edge here. I thought I'd already done this, but I can't remember what I've done and what I've not done. So what we'll do is we will we'll get this set up. I can't remember which field this is. This is field 25, isn't it? I can't remember which names I've given. I'll work it out. Right, that'll do. Stop. So we'll save that as field 25 edge. And then we know we've got it. Then we'll go to here. Then we will go to course generation. And we will go to currently loaded course around five times. Yeah, there we go. We got it right. Okay. So if we go back now. Talk to us at first waypoint. We're off. 52% in there, so that should cover that. Right, we're done. Back to the chat. Marty, thank you. Thanks for dropping by, my friend. Farmer90. I'm doing well, my friend. How are you? Thank you, Robert. 24. I should have known that. Oh, well. Cool. Cole Moultrie, how are you doing? You're from Idaho. Is that like the potato centre of the universe, isn't it? Ninjas, how are you doing? Welcome to the stream. That's right. I keep forgetting. I'm, I'm new to it, Cranky. So you're right. I just need to attribute a field edge to it, don't I? I need to name the field, number the field edge. And then uh, I'm good. You're right. So um, we'll do that with the new field up there next time we do it. Um, okay, that's planting. George, I'm probably going to run for another... What time is it? What time is it? Yeah, I'm going to be around for another hour. And then... Uh, and then I'll be done. Uh, frogs, do I know any mods that add placeable shrubs and bushes? Uh, if you go and download the new No Man's Land pack that came out last week, um, you can, uh, you can. I think there's some bushes and trees and things. But if you just Google um, uh, placeable bushes, placeable trees, FS19, you should be able to find them on some of the some of the stores. Uh, Aussie Tex is the gator spreader a mod FSG uh, yes no it's not no uh, well it is a mod as in it's part of the gator pack that black sheep modding did um, so yes Dave B how are you doing uh, Jake you must have missed we had a chat about field 19 before yes um, unfortunately when you buy this piece of land it also gives you that one up there but we're we're just accepting that we can't touch field 19 we're just we're just gonna let it let it be um, right. We are getting this beauty. Uh, factory new. That is, that's over a thousand pound cheaper. I think we'll definitely buy it second hand. Because we won't spend... We're not going to spend £1,180 repairing it when we get back to the shop. So from that perspective, I'm happy with that. And then we'll jump into here and we'll get the shovel. 1500 for the shovel. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Let's just buy that here. Okay, that's that bought. What else were we going to buy tonight? I think we're going to try and get that horse corral. We're trying to get the horses before the end of the night. It's going to be a bit of a challenge, actually. I think we'll struggle to get the horses for what they cost, but we'll give it a go. We will certainly give it a go. We need... Um... Oh, look at this. This is great. Oh, it's 12 miles an hour, though. We're going to be... We're going to be a while shuffling along the road in this. Right. This is pretty good, isn't it? 
Loving this. Oh, it does sound nice. Bit slow, but we can live with that. Chris C, how are you going, my friend? We'll just trundle along for a bit. Let's talk among ourselves. How's everybody's Wednesday been? So far. Nah, Dave. Big engine in the back. Engine's made of lead, so it'll weigh it down. Exactly, Costigan. That's that's basically the only... We've basically spent five grand so we can take a, a silage cover off. Winter storm tomorrow. Yeah, we reduced snow this week in Scotland and it never arrived. Um, just rather wet and cold and windy. So, um... Yes, it's um, it's got some junk in the trunk for sure. Have I played on Oak Hill? I have not, Farmer Ninety. No. Yeah, I, I'm kind of Scottish simulation. I'm, uh, I'm actually from south of the border, but I've been here for 25 years, so I've, I've actually lived in Scotland longer than I lived in England, so technically I'm, I think I'm okay to call myself Scottish. Ah, oh, thank you, Harold. I appreciate that. How am I planning to harvest those cereals? I think I've got a little um, combine lined up for that. Costigan, a little John Deere combine. Well, there's a couple actually. To save the monotony while we're going along the road, I'll try and show you what I've got. I hope I've loaded them both in. I've got either this little international, which is quite nice, but costs a whopping 84,000. Or 67 second hand. Uh, but I've got this little 6220. Look at that. £9,000. So that could well be uh, an option. Uh, I've also got this, the 7700. Or what else have I got? No, it is that one. So it's that it's that one. I think I think this is the one we'll probably end up going for. It's got a nice little header as well. Uh, spreader or a mincer? I don't know what that means at the back. Hopefully, I'll be able to uh, sort the straw. Basically, I want um, to capture the canola and the soybean straw. And uh, yeah, I think there's quite a nice little header with it. So. That was one of the reasons we didn't do corn, because we didn't want to do... Uh... Yeah, there we go. So there's a 3.8 metre header, or there is a 4.6 metre. I think we'll probably plump for the 4.6. Go big or go home, right? That's what we need to do. Go big or go home. So let's get this back to the yard, and let's get the stuff loaded up. Noah, welcome back. That's what she said. Classic millennial farmer line. Yeah, we'll go big. There's just no point in buying the combine at the moment because our crops aren't ready. So we're gonna we'll try and optimize our. Uh... Oh look, our, our money's ticking down, which means uh, I think our spreader has probably run out of. Fertilizer, which is not ideal because that's not the not the most cost-effective way of doing things. But uh, 
what I might do is just let him do that, but we'll go and buy some more before we do the last field. There you go, definitely not David, yeah, we'll definitely go with a bigger header. Shay, this is a little Massey Ferguson uh, digger, which cost a, a, a mere £5,000, so... Okay, the gate has finished that field. Why is that money still counting down? Why? What, what are we spending money on, guys? What are we spending money on? There we go. What's ticking down? Uh, my pay is it helper fees? Is it wages for helpers? Trying to see what's ticking down. Oh, there we go. Wage payments it is. I never, uh, never told them I was going to pay them. They were just here for the joy of driving classic tractors. Right. Twelve miles an hour. All to uncover a silage clamp. Yeah, Tom Tom Pemberton's farm map does look good actually. All bespoke buildings and things like that, which is nice. Right. Once we've done this, I think it's probably another load of logs, isn't it? <laughs> oh dear. Now I could have cheated and just teleported back, but that's not that's not That's not the right thing to do, is it? Should have set a I should have set a course play course. So shouldn't I? I should have recorded a course play course all the way home. It's going straight in for a service, JSW. Don't you worry. Shay, how come for PC you can get loads more mods than Xbox? Because Microsoft won't let you um, basically let you. <laughs> There's no better way to do it. To say it that uh, yeah they lock down their system so um, you can't you can't adjust the game files on the fly so things like course play and all of those things when you and also uh, it's a lot more difficult to um, mod for consoles and the only way you can get consoles onto a mod is through the mod hub um, and licensing so there's there's a whole heap of reasons why. Um, Yeah. Yeah, Dave B. I don't want. If I was using course play, uh, I would turn off uh, helper buy for fertilizer because it they charge you a bomb. Charge you a bomb for those. So should buy a pallet for for the massive for loading the logs. It's not a bad idea as well, Harold. Yeah. Probably not a pallet fork. I would probably buy a grab. I think there's a, I think there's a grab for this. So, so that is not a bad idea. Right, I'm going to go straight and repair this before we use it. Repair. So what did we say? We saved one thousand one hundred and eighty pounds by buying it second hand. And it costs forty three pounds to repair it. That's not uh, that's not too bad, is it? 
I'm going to put a bit of diesel in it as well. Yeah, the CSZ pack, I downloaded it. I actually forgot to switch it on before the... Before the uh, I, forgot, I didn't tick it when I loaded the game, so... That's... Uh, what? No, I don't want seeds in there. I want fuel. Now I've got seeds in my bucket. I don't want that. Oh, the brakes are pretty ropey. There we go. That's what I wanted. Now I've got seed that I don't really want. Now hopefully, I might be able to dump this in the... Yeah, the bag lift is definitely something I'm interested in. Now I've got 3% seed, right. I'm going to get rid of that. Empty the shovel. There we go. So this is me using my side panel now. Oh, is this glitched? Oh no, it's not. Good. We don't actually need the bucket. But it will come in handy, this. This is definitely a good buy. Let's go and get the gator. John Deere can't be it. Can't be far off finished as well in this field. Yeah, he's uh, he's just finishing off a few bits. We have made some serious progress tonight. This would have been about two or three episodes in the making. Well, let's run this back. I wish these would seed. We should speed the time up a bit, shouldn't we? There we go. Five times. I'll be very much turning that CSZ uh, pack on and uh, getting that bag lifter for sure. Am I launching it? I'll do a vote probably at the end, JSW. We'll just probably do, make a set our stall out for what's next. Um, for sure. Um, well, actually, we, we, we have an in-game decision to make next because we've got that new field that the John Deere's nearly finished. Uh, we've got oats in the third field because that's what we're going to use for... Um, Getting the horses. We're probably going to put a horse corral or a horse paddock just here, next to the silage pit. Um, I have to say though, it's been great having so many of you here tonight. 115 is uh, is good numbers for the stream. So you guys obviously like like the survival stuff. So no, it'd definitely definitely be worth doing another one um, at some point for sure. It may even be this. You know, maybe we'll do an episode a week and. Uh, a live stream a week, maybe. What do you reckon? We'd make some fast progress then, wouldn't we? Might need the digger for the last little bits. There we go, another full load. And it's probably best part of a, another full load after that, so. Yeah, no, we could do a few more live streams. Happy with that. I, I literally want to play this all the time. It's just such a good challenge. It's so much fun as a challenge. You've got to think all the time about what you're going to do next and what, well, how do we, f how do we fund this? And actually, through the week, just um, pouring through... 
uh, mod sites trying to find mods that I can afford um, is great. When did we decide horses, Dave? Um, we had that open question uh, at the end of the last episode uh, where I said, what do we do next? And actually quite a few people said horses can be quite a lucrative. One, because they don't use a lot of... Um, they don't eat a lot. And they need a bit of straw and they need a bit of oats. Um, but other than that, they're pretty good. Um, so uh, so we thought maybe, maybe get ourselves a couple of horses and obviously they go up in, in price. What I will use is the, the global company's horse helper to train them. I don't fancy riding horses around the whole time. Um, so we'll allow ourselves that. I know it's 300, 300 pounds per day per horse. But, you know, if we train our horses right up, we'll be on uh, we'll be on a £50,000 per horse, so it's worth doing. The Mythical Beast, what uh, wheel do I use? I've got the Logitech Heavy Equipment Bundle, mate. So I've got the side panel and the, and the steering wheel as well. So, And it's, to be honest, Farm Sim is pretty much the only game I'm playing at the moment. I don't have time to play anything else. Um... So if I was playing racing games and stuff like that, I would probably look at something like a G29 or similar. But uh, this does what it does what it needs to for farm sim. So I'm uh, I'm happy with it for now. Luke Kruger, hello. What are my favourite mods? Good question. Um, it depends what I'm doing, but um, I actually put a video out a couple of weeks ago with sort of six mods that I use a lot of the time. That uh, Basically, have changed the way I play farm sim. Um, I have to say, finding some of these old, these old creaky mods um, has been a lot of fun. This tractor is fast becoming one of my favourite mods. It couldn't do everything. Yeah, again, Bobby. We've got mods that help us ride the horses, so... Uh, Shay, what's my favourite map? Um, oh, it's so difficult to pick one. Um, Flint Hills, I have a special soft spot for Flint Hills just because it was kind of the map that launched the channel. That was, that was the first time I started to gain a lot of subscribers and uh, people started to take notice of what I was doing, which was great. So I'll always have a special, uh, special place for um, for Flint Hills. But um, I love em anything that MRG Mapping does. He does some phenomenal little uh, US maps. Uh, Farmersburg, Marksville, El Qaeda, uh, Mercer County. And some of the stuff he's got lined up uh, looks really, really good as well. Um, this is a great little map. Uh, Rich Acres has done a great job on Bulls Gap. And, um, and the the West Texas map that I did a, a, a map tour on uh, just this week is uh, I, I'm really impressed with that as well. There's, there's a few things that need tidying up in it, but uh, as a base map and as a concept, it's really good, really really good. So, right, let's grab these last little bits. So even if we don't run this to the um, Even if we don't run it to the to the sell point right now, we'll uh, we'll try and pick up these last little bits. Look at all the stuff, look at all the chaff that I managed to not include in the silage clamp as well. We can pick that up. A thousand pound wage payment. It's like daylight robbery that. Might have to adjust my helper's salaries. That's quite expensive. Right. Have I tried the Ricky maps? Um, no, what are those, Chris? Don't know about those. I kind of have a bit of a rule when it comes to maps that... Um, Uh, they have to be realist, real maps of real places. I'm big on the authenticity of maps. Um, 
so some of these uh you know maps with just square fields and things like that they just don't i don't i can't get excited by them i'm sure they're great for certain people and you know but for me i love the i love the fact that i know i'm driving around on somewhere that actually exists in the world and you know real farmers farm it every day there's something really cool about that oh look at that we've almost got another full load you know what we will run this down Although the John Deere's finished, so I wonder. Do you know what? Before we drive this down, let's turn that off. Let's go and get the John Deere, shall we? And swap the swap him over to the cedar and get him planting. Ten thousand we've got. So I think another log load. So the horse, the horse uh, place, place, the horse paddock is, uh, I think, eleven thousand. So we could buy that, and we could probably buy one horse. Um, I was going to buy two, but maybe we just buy one to start with. Uh, we haven't got any food to give him yet, so we need to buy a bag of food as well. Just getting these last straggly bits. There we go, though, another field. How about that? Um, so that's that's maybe what we'll shoot for next, isn't it? Well, what we'll do... Here, here you go, then. Here's a question for you guys. We've got soybeans in one field. We've got uh, canola in another. We've got oats in another. What we're going to plant in this field, the only prerequisite I would say is don't say corn, because I don't want to buy a second combine header at the moment. So um, what do we put in that new field we've just ploughed? Thank you, Braxtons. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. I'm glad you like the channel. I'm just trying to do my thing, and, and I hope you guys like it. So um, I'm really pleased you do. Uh, I should have put this in the shed, but we've parked that over the shed, so. Um, Mythical Beast, you might want to watch tomorrow's video. That's all I'm going to say. More soybeans, you think, Braxton's? Soybeans are quite lucrative, aren't they? Oh, look, I've still got it on Create Field, so now I've got a horrible, muddy mess where I've left it. I'm the king of parking stuff in front of things, aren't I? Look at that. I want the planter now, and I can't move it, because that's in the way. Canola. Another field of canola. Another field of barley. Potatoes. I just... Punisher. I hate potatoes, man. I, I, I want to. I want to, but I can't. That's right, Dave. We do need oats for the horses, but we've got a field of oats already planted, so um, we're pretty cool with that. We're probably going to have to buy a couple of bags of horse of, of oats or horse feed to start with. Soybeans. We think in soybeans. Okay. We might have. Uh... Right. Speak now, guys, or forever hold your peace. That's going to take me to get up to there. I've got a shed, Chris. It's just empty. I'm a lazy boy and don't put my stuff in it. So what have I got here? I've got... What are we saying, guys? We're saying soybeans, soybeans. I've got three for soybeans. Do I go first person in the, ta uh, in the cab? Sometimes, Shay, if I'm doing things like... Uh, hay for horses. We'll get hay with... Uh, We'll get hay with the straw, canola. Oh, it's close between soybeans. Money-wise, soybean. I think soybeans has just about snuck it. Old Cranky makes a good point, though. There's some wheat and get a chicken pen. And we can do some eggs. That's not a bad idea. Right, let's count. Let's, let's count them up. Let's count them up. Soybeans. Soybeans. 
George, take care, my friend. Thanks for dropping by. Right, soybeans it is, guys. I think, I think the majority have spoken, so we'll... Uh, We'll go with soybeans, right? Course generation. Oh, let's uh, delete the field we're on. Now this would be. That's where I forget the field, isn't it? Course generation. Field. Let's see if we've remembered now. Nope, that's not it. Nope, that's not it. 26. Did I save it all cranky? I didn't. No, I'm a clown. Right. Uh, close that. Calculate current field edge. Come on. There we go. Although he's made a hash of it now. Can I move those? Can I move those edges? I'm going to drive it. Shay, I'm, uh, I'm from Scotland. What we'll do, we'll do a quick, we'll do a quick um, lap of the field to get the edge how we want it. Um, that's my fault for letting the plough run through there. If I hadn't done that, it would have done a nice edge, but it's caught the edge of it now. So, do I? Do I have an edge saved? I do. Jeez, Cranky's paying more attention than I am. Stop. Delete. All right. Right, load. Field 26, edge. Let's just check we're in the right place. That looks good to me. Let's reverse them back to the start. Let's go to here. Let's go to here. Course generation. Five times around. Overlap. Up and down rows first. Everything is good. Thank you, Cranky. <laughs> yeah, <yet> again. <laughs> soybeans. We're in soybeans. Right, we're off. Good. Can I do time lapse on live? Just a question. No, Harold. Uh, you, you have to speed up the footage in um, in your editing software. So unfortunately, you've got to watch me do it painfully at real time speed. All right, he's off again. Oh, Punisher! Your grandfather's from Scotland. Whereabouts? It's only a little place. Not many of us here. Look, I'm skipping. I'm so happy with the progress we've made tonight. I left something running. What did I leave running? It's 650. Right, let's sell this. And then we'll... Um, do another log run and then we should have enough for our horse and our uh, horse pen which is pretty good and we're doing how are we doing for time we've got half an hour left so we can buy our horsey and then we probably need a couple of um a couple of bags of horse food to keep them going
which is going to be a pain to go and collect because I haven't got anything that drives over 24 miles an hour. I also need to think about a trailer for um, collecting um, for collect collecting our, our cereal crops in when we when we harvest them. So we'll need to think about that as well because there aren't any particularly cheap trailers. So. Uh, And how are we going to feed these? How are we going to feed these horses? What's our what's our solution for that? Do we think? Dornach. It's a lovely part of the country. Am I going to use the horse trainer? I'm going to use um, Global Companies variant of the horse trainer mod. Um, because I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to watch me riding horses around for 10 minutes at a time. There we go. 12,000 in the bank. 22,000 of income there. That's pretty good. I do have the um I do have the what have I got in here? I've got the two Marston trailers. Oh I've got this now. I forgot about this. But these are these are these are I, I kinda of feel like these are cheating though. I mean that's a that's that's the same as I mean that's four hundred pounds. Oh no, it's not. What was I saying? Seeds, wood chips. Okay, so you do your base. Your base volume, and then you have to pick here. So that's no use to us. That's no use to us. These are service trucks. Didn't realise they downloaded that mod. For a rental fee. Sell you various goods. The trailer basically works like pallets and big bags. As soon as the load is unloaded, the trailer disappears again. Okay, I do not need that. Do not need that. I think we'll probably go for something like something like this. Dave B, thank you so much for the super chat, my friend. That is very very kind of you. Uh, yeah. We'll see you again soon, my friend, and appreciate appreciate that super chat. All the money that comes in through the channel goes to uh, funding our multiplayer server, going towards competitions and things like that. So I plough in as much of it as I can back into the channel. So uh, I appreciate that, Dave. Uh, you take care, my friend. What a guy! There you go. There's your there's your name up in lights. So technically, we could uh, we could buy something like this. I'd probably bump it up to the eight thousand capacity, or even, even the twelve thousand. Old cranky, there you go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna write that down, my friend. Burlack trailer, burlack trailer. Three K. Yeah, I'll do a bit of shopping this week. We don't need it just yet, but uh, oops. Um. I'll have a look for that. That sounds good. We just want something really basic that can take all the crops. I wonder if we, do we need a do we need a silo as well? Do you think? Or should we just um, should we just sell it? Should we sell it straight away? What do you think? Punisher, I do have the new Grimmy DLC, yes. So 
Sorry, Brian. I don't know. Get a, a chala. I don't know. I don't know what that means. Right here we go. Start out with I'm using the last trailer. It's a good trailer, that Marcia. I have to say, it's a great all-round trailer and it's sensibly priced. Well, that was worth doing. Now, what did we get from that silage? Um, all in. That was about... What, 2,000 a load? Seven, seven, seven and a half thousand pounds? That was, uh, that was a pretty worthwhile exercise, wasn't it? For three loads. Definitely something we should think about doing again. And we have all the equipment for that, so it's quite... Uh, yeah, you think sell it straight away. Stuart Trentum, farm some guy. Can I get a shout out for my YouTube, Stuart Trentum? There you go, guys. Stuart Trentum. Go and check him out. Need a silo for storing feed for horses. That's a good point. I was just going to... Could I not dump that just on the ground somewhere? I do need something, don't I? Okay, we need to give that a little bit of thought. Who left the toilet door open? Disgraceful. It's like my kids. Right. So. Uh, we've got weeds. Forgot about weeds. Should have played with the weeds off. But then it's a survival series. So we should, we should really. Uh, we should really play it on a little bit of a challenging mode. Shouldn't we? Never play with weeds. Right. He's planting that well. The weeds are coming up there as well. Right. Let's just have a look at weeders, shall we? That's probably something else we need to put on the list. Something to make sure that we've got. God, there's so much to do, isn't there? So much to do. I have nothing cheap there. We'll need to think about a, a weeder as well. Oh, thank you, Kyle. That's a very kind thing to say, my friend. I just know that do you know what? The reason I've the reason I've done it no season to shove it on the ground. <laughs> the reason I've done this, uh, Kyle, is uh because I I know what it's like, especially when you kind of um starting out with a new game and stuff like that, and you you need to, you know, find information and things like that. And there's nothing worse than just being told you're a noob and go and work it out and you know you know, if you know about the game, well, well let's all help each other, right? It's all help, and that's kind of what I enjoyed. Um, sprayer, Harold. I've got a sprayer. Look at that bad boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Need to uh, put some liquid fertilizer in it, but that's not a bad little... Uh, That's not a bad little uh, spray to have. We need to put... Um, I think it takes... Yes, it does. It takes fertilizer and uh, insecticide, so that's good. Uh, or, it's actually cheaper to buy that. I was going to say we could buy one for the John Deere, but we don't need to because that's a lot bigger. And I frost on that to give the whole world to that. Tetanus. Yeah, you know what? I'm 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 big on helping people. I think it comes from my job as well, which is you kinda help people all the time. These weeds are doing my head in, right? I have to go and get that spray now. Twelve thousand? No. We're gonna do logs. We're gonna run another load of logs. We're gonna stick to our plan. We're gonna get our horse place done before the end of the for the end of the uh, stream, definitely. Ah, oh, I see it's doing it again. There we go. Oh. 
that one will never go without a little bit of help. Right, let's go and get Old Faithful. It'll take about half an hour for this to start up before the stream will be over before this has started. Bobby, any anyone tested how much straw or what have you that you dump on the ground as in height and girth? You sure he's talking about straw, mate? I shouldn't, uh... See, I can't... Oh, it's a stump. We'll just get rid of it. Yeah. Can't pick it up anyway. Right. Let's get some of this loaded up. Yeah, that's the. I suppose that's the only benefit of not playing seasons is I don't have to worry about things wasting, which is quite good. I, I, it was a conscious decision not to do seasons on this because I wanted the pace of it to be quite nice. I didn't want it to take ages to do everything, and uh, you know, but there'll be a lot of hanging around. Certainly early in the game, when it was winter and stuff, even on three-day seasons, that would have taken a while. So. So this way we get to do a lot of a lot of stuff. There we go. Let's work our way through all these. I'm just randomly like flailing my chainsaw now. Don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just cutting stuff randomly. Sure, it'll be all right. So we'll shoot for about maybe another seven thousand pound load for this. That'll get us a. That'll get us to a good place. and break our record. We've got to get over 8,000 for a load at some point. Surely, haven't we? Right, come on. I'm trying to do this quickly. I don't want to run out of time. Before the end of the stream, we have committed to a horse ranch. Ranch? Horse paddock, that's the word I was looking for. I thought a truck run, I'm wasting loads of diesel by just leaving this. I'm not even sure what this runs off. Kiwi Contractor, thank you for joining, uh, my friend. You are now entitled to go and play on the multiplayer server you'll have a riot on there there's a load of we've uh, got quite a lot of people now playing on the multiplayer server and our res we have our own resident kiwi so we now we've got two of you I'm not sure we are you allowed do you behave in pairs argsy argsy gaming if you guys don't know him uh, definitely go and give him a follow he's he does some brilliant content as well. So. Cut the tips off this. So it doesn't roll about. I'm just chucking stuff up there. I don't even know how it's... How it's being laid out now. So we'll just see what happens when we climb up in a little bit. It's still going on, so... Unless I walk around to the other side and it's all fallen off the other side. It, we've got quite a decent load here. 
Fuat, how are you doing? Oh. Oh, loads of space on this side. This is going to be a massive load. This is going to be humongous. This is another duffer. Oh no, this one will go actually. These will be back, by the way. When I close the game down, those uh, those funny coloured logs appear back. And they'll appear back in the place they are in the field as well. It's kind of like a funny one. Oh, how did I manage to miss that up? Right. Oh, look at that, it helped the other one in. Oh, no, we didn't. Like a never ending, never ending load, this one, isn't it? Right, and we are pretty close to the top now, although if we're clever, we could. Oh, there's loads of space in this yet. Here's Josh, how you doing? Welcome to Josh, how's things? Uh, the stream is, I think, going quite well. You have to ask the people that are watching. I'm having fun. Um, no, we're doing well, mate. We've made some serious, serious progress tonight. It's been uh, huge. Got a couple of new fields. Oh, uh, thanks, Marcia. That's very kind of you to say. Right, let's see how many more we can... Basically, we're going to keep going until something falls off. I think that's our cue to accept defeat and go and sell this. This is definitely our biggest load of timber yet, so... Let's see if can we fit this around the other side? Maybe. This truck, honestly, has been... This could well be up there now as one of my favourite mods as well. Just because of what it's done for this episode. <laughs> this, uh, this series. It's been an absolute gem. Yeah, I'm going to put up a... I think I might just do that, guys. There seems to be enough of you asking... For it, so I'm happy to uh, look into that. Um, like I said, uh, the proceeds from things like super chats and the advertising uh, that I get from from the channel is uh, I try and plow as much of it back in as I can. So um, I'm now a game server affiliate as well, so I get a little bit of a, a kickback. So, right, should we give that a go? That is a pretty decent load. I there's space for more there. There is space for more there. Right. So here's an open question, just while I'm thinking about it then. What's our... Uh, what would your map be? What would your map be on console? What would you like... What would you like to play on?
Crikey, we've got rid of almost all of these logs in this load. How good is that? It's still going, there's still space. Now the John Deere's finished as well, oh my goodness. And still it's getting loaded up. This is this is gonna be a world record load this. I wanna try and fit it all in there. There's only like four or five logs still to go. Don't even know if the lorry will even move. Oh Oh, there he goes. I think I think that has to be it, doesn't it? I could fit another one in the middle though. Let's give it a go. There. Right. That is it. That is it now. Let's not... Uh Let's not get greedy. Although I think I've got greedy about five trees ago. Ah, oh, we lost a couple. That's the sign that you you done right. Let's do this. Oh no way, Josh! I'm on playing on hard difficulty. I think we'll be in a region of about seven or eight thousand. Bucks County. That is a great... I, for me, that, I think, is the best map for console. A brilliant map. I've been looking at Red Dirt... Uh, Red Dirt Country this week. His big, his big four times map that he started out with. A year or so old now, but wow, that's good as well. He's a talented... He's a talented guy. Marcia, check out Bucks County. Seriously. I think it's a really nice map. I'm sure we could find a couple of nice little uh, mods to add to it as well, couldn't we? Farmer Knight, how often do I play seasons? I've got a few. Um, I've got a few series where I've got seasons going. Flint Hills is running seasons. Um, I used to have an old uh, challenge map, which I've not played for a while now. When I was a very small YouTuber, I used to get about 30 views at a time on it. Um, it was called the No Debt Challenge, and it was on nine day seasons. Um, you started out with £500,000. You had to buy a farm with that money and land and grow it from there. So it was uh, it was quite difficult and quite boring. But quite it was it was good fun all the time. It's like kind of a good way to test the map. Um, Right. Here he is. ASAP is in the house. Hope you're doing well. Red Wolf. Slovenia. Wow. wow. I mean, literally, we've had the whole world in here tonight. Welcome, my friend. Glad to have you here, Red. Right. 7,770. It's almost like... That is the max you can get in, is about 7,700, isn't it? How's it going, ASAP? 20,000 in the bank. How about that? That's been a decent, decent night's work. So that means we can buy our little horse place. It means we can buy our uh, one horse. Where can I get water from, actually? Probably need to think about that as well. I wonder if we buy our horse uh, paddock. We will not just yet buy our horse. Let's give it just a little bit of time to to plan things out properly. 
because we do I am gonna stop at midnight my time because I still have to get up and go to work tomorrow 160 kilometer an hour winds jeez hope everything's still in place man right the John Deere's finished as well that's good the Punisher, there is a multiplayer there, there is a PC multiplayer server, yes. Um you have to be a channel member, but um yeah, we've got a great and we're running Home World, which is a brilliant UK map. Um and there's a lot of people that play on that. There's a, a load of different farms you can choose from and stuff. It's uh, it's got a great little community on it. Red Wolf Gaming has just given himself access to the server by becoming a member. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. Right. I'm going to chip this one, I think. Because it's, it's not real wood. And I might as well load these last little bits up. Keep the yard tidy before we finish. Hello, guard dog. How you doing, man? Good work. Doing a bit of exercise, dude. Fair play to you. I don't think we've had this yard so tidy for weeks. We've never really got rid of all of our wood so quickly but there we go it's uh definitely helped definitely helped the episode tonight hasn't it right there we go let's pop you up here we can tuck you out of the way as well truck There we go. Josh, would I be up for doing a multiplayer series with my channel? At the moment, Josh, I'd, I'd love to. I'd love to do multiplayers with everybody, but uh, unfortunately, I just I'm struggling for time. Oh, that truck's brilliant, guard dog. Struggling for time to fit everything in at the moment, but um... right. So we have. Let's just. Let's just look at what we've done in this episode because we have not skimmed. We have got two new, rather nice fields. They're all covered in weeds. <laughs> Need to fix that pretty quick. Um, I can't believe the progress. We've got 20,000 in the bank too. We've sold the... Uh, We've sold uh, a load of wood. Um, we've got enough space to open up a bit more ground later on as well. Thank you, Braxtons. No, I appreciate it, man. Thanks for dropping by. Um, look, who was complaining before that I need to build another shed? I actually just need to put stuff away. So we'll do that. That's how we'll finish our stream. We'll put the stuff away, make everything neat and tidy, and then I will... Um, And we'll, the last thing we'll do is place our horse. We'll place our horse uh, thing, paddock. Let's get the plough as well. Try and park everything so I can't I can get at it. I will do that as well, Robert. That's a good idea because yeah, it's not doing my OCD any good. I put the plow at the front because I think sooner rather than later we'll probably be making another field.
What else do we need to put in here? I'm happy to leave the logging thing over there. Truck's okay over there. The trailer I'm not going to put in the shed. I don't think we need to do that. That can just... We can actually just sit that on the silage clamp, actually. ASAP. It's your birthday tomorrow, man. Well, many happy returns. A stupid trailer. Or the stupid tractor. I don't know which one I want to fall out with more. There we go. We'll just leave him there. Nice and tidy. Twenty nine years old, not twenty nine dollars. Uh, you're a madman. Let's put the gator away as well, shall we? Let's... Well, many happy returns for tomorrow, ASAP. I'm going to repair this. Who, who told me to repair this before? I'm actually going to do it. Uh, repair. 96 bucks. Look, it's all shiny again. Oh no, it's still muddy. I'm glad it's still muddy. No worries, Red Wolf. Thanks for dropping by, my friend. Um, appreciate you uh, joining, becoming a member. Thank you very much for that. I never tidy my farm up. I'm impressed at myself. Look at this. I've never seen it so tidy. Right, and our last two tasks are going to be landscape that little bit of messy ploughing that I did. And then I'm going to um, buy our horse. Buy our horse paddock. And I think this has been a super, super um, efficient and, and big progress episode. Really, really enjoyed this. I mean, like I said, I'm 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 enjoying the series anyway. Let's close up the shed. Uh, but this has been brilliant. I definitely think I'll uh, definitely think I'll be doing another live stream on here. Um, we've got an episode on Sunday. The usual Sunday episode, we'll do that. Um, but we'll probably think about maybe another live stream next week. Oops. Right. So let us go and treat ourselves to our little horse paddock. So it's quite big, this. The horses do... Um, can move quite far within it. So we need to make sure we place it in a decent manner. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? They can walk right to the edge of the silage pit there. Unabated. Ah. Might have to do a bit of smoothing of the landscape in there. Um... 
on a bit of a slope, so we need to play around with that. And it's charged us for messing up the land as well, so it actually adds to the cost. So it's added about three thousand pounds to the cost. Um, but we can sort that in the next episode. That's fine. And we've got troughs there. Some nice little bits and pieces in here. Can you pick the? What's that noise? I can hear an electric door somewhere. Yeah, there we go. So 5,000 per horse. I'm not going to buy one now because that would leave us with 225 pounds, which is not enough. Uh, but those posts tell you where the, where the horses can walk to. And the other thing I was going to do very quickly before we head off was switch to ground type and I was going to head up here. And put a little bit of grass over this edge because it's annoying me. I take pride in my farm so I do. Um, a little bit of grass. There we go. Make everything neat and tidy again. And there we go guys. Look at that. We have really expanded the farm tonight. Like massively. Can't get over how much work we've done. It's starting to look really, really good, this. If we go to the actual map, we should be able to see now we've got some crops in the ground. Look at that. That's that little rogue bit of sweet beans in the corner there. So, so there we go, guys. I think we'll call it there for the night. Thank you all so, so much. I've had a brilliant stream tonight. It's been really, really fun. Uh really enjoyable so thank you so so much uh appreciate you all and everything you do to leave your comments leave the nice comments come and watch my vids and all of that stuff so uh genuinely thank you thank you so much and uh we'll knock it on the head so have a good right rest of rest of your week um vid coming tomorrow and uh, we'll have another episode of the survival series on sunday and uh, I'm sure a few other things uh, in the meantime. I'll see if I can find some new cool maps that nobody knows about. So for now, from me, the farm sim guy, take care, and I'll see you all again very soon. Bye for now.